Hi, and welcome to the first episode of Guitars and Gear, and I'm your host, Oliver. We're talking about the Cower Banshee today. This is this beauty. Uh, cow guitars are uh, built in Sacramento, California. They're all custom shop, and you can order it just how your dream guitar should look, and Doc will make your dream come true. This banshee is made out of wood, which is made out of trees. And to be very precise, it's Spanish cedar, not Spanish cider, cedar. It's a really lightweight guitar. It's 6.9 pounds, uh, when I record right. And we have, a, let me see, a 24.75 scale. 22 frets and we have a Wenji fretboard. This is because of the Cites, these uh, Doc just makes for all the outside USA living guitarists only Wenji fingerboards. Uh, it's very nice to play, it feels good, it's a little bit, it has more structure, like feelable structure than the Rosewood fingerboards have. But uh, when you get used to it, it's just nice to play. Uh, yeah, let's move ahead. We have a Tone Pro bridge, uh, the Bixby B5. Uh, Bixby is always this thing, uh, you hate it or you love it. I love Bixby. Uh, I don't like Floyd Rose stuff or all the other Kremlin systems. I really like Bixby because I don't make any dive bombs or whatever, it's just like just very gentle no we don't need that I don't need it. Uh, what else yeah we have the TV Jones power Tron plus pickups they really have a high output and they're really crunchy and what I really like that even when you play quite distorted you still can hear every single note of the chord. If you play power chords, it doesn't make too much sense, but if you play real chords, that's just fantastic. Uh, you have a, a volume tone potty, that's it. You have banjo tuners, banjo. Focus, focus, yes. These are a Clusen banjo tuners. I have to say, they're quite a bit heavy to to assemble, to, to turn, to, to bring in tune. They're not as smooth as, as other uh, tuners, but they work. It stays in tune perfectly. It's it's a really nice guitar. Yeah, it's it's like it's reduced to the max. It's my rock and roll war machine. And as you can see, I don't have my glasses with me. The serial number is, it has a serial number, but I can't see it without my glasses, okay? So maybe you can see it. Watch it, watch it, watch it. You, uh, I don't think so. I will write it in the description down below, down below. Okay. We're going to uh, an orange uh, Tiny Terror, the Jim Root model, into an uh, orange uh, 12 inch cabinet, one 12 inch speaker, Celestian Vintage, uh, down here. The hard key is just like a deposit for the, for the head, okay? I'm doing here, I don't know. Down here is my pedal board that makes all these beautiful noises. It has, 
it's really it sound is very straight ahead. It's very aggressive and it cuts through the mix really good. So we're gonna go into the gain stage. It has been. And it has noise. But that's the amp and not the guitar. So let me go back a little bit. With uh, I always like to have Check out the Carcosa. Uh, you will see it right here. Yes, it's all the power of manipulation of film manipulation, special effects. Yes, that's the word. Okay, so the Carcosa Fuss from DOD. Uh, first of all, I like cheap pedals, not really cheap, cheapish pedals. I'm not a big fan of buying these super expensive boutique pedals just because they have a beautiful graphic and they're like hand knitted by, I don't know, aliens and just the best materials. Um, the DOD Carcosa comes, clocks in at $99, something like that. And it has a graphic, it's beautiful as you can see. Um, and it's really uh, a dirty fuss. It's really like uh, you will hear it later on. So I just checked that the, the amp is clean, like it's cleanish, not really clean. All right, and we have not too many controls. We have the output control that increases or decreases the overall overall or overall output level uh, we have after the day after hmm. uh, it's the bias control and changes the texture of the fuzz and we have forward the uh, high cut uh, which is a high cut so check it out uh, I have to dive from time to time so sorry let's kick it in Ooh. So 
even oh. louder than the fuss. This is my dog. Fantastic. Nasty. So you can crank it up to the maximum and it just sounds nasty, nasty, nasty. So let's turn it off. I think that's really a pretty good fuss for 99 bucks. So you can't go wrong with that. I'm video You know, that's tough, tough life of a recording artist just like I am. Hmm? The wifey comes home, the dog is barking, uh, and now my whole uh, my whole plan is just gone. What? Yeah, we talked about guitars and gear and guitars. Uh, beautiful. Now the coffee maker is making some more noise, and I have a noise gate here, but not for the coffee maker. So maybe I have to talk a little bit louder up here. Okay, so again, now let's get come to the verdict. Or did you really expect an in depth, uh, really serious uh, review with that? I just unscrew everything and show it to you? No, 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 no. All right, um, let's come to the banji first. Okay, I really love the guitar, and, and why? Because it's a guitar. You grab it and you just, it feels right. It, it makes you want to play that guitar. And you just, you know it, it feels good. And it sounds good. And it's an inspiring instrument. You know, you can buy a, a fantastic guitar for thousands of dollars and you grab it and nothing happens. But here, we really, I just can play on and on. Okay, in front of the camera, it doesn't work. It's always the same. I will prove it. You will hear it uh, on the upcoming album, Vertigo. It's tons of banjee on there. And you know, I don't have to stress then. The dog is not barking. Nobody's coming home. Uh, it sounds much better than here. So to make a long story short, uh, I can highly recommend any guitars from Doc Cower and from Gao Cower guitars. I have uh, another one uh, over here, the Gorinish guitar. It's a Titan, and it's it's also a very inspiring guitar and it's just a great instrument. I just go for standby. I can hear nothing. Perfect. So yeah, um, the only little mind thing is are the tuners. But on the upcoming models, uh, Doc is working on new tuners, and they will be much smoother. So okay, they're really stable for tuning, but uh, you need a lot of power to turn it, and so it's. Not for wimps, just for rockers. Um, you'll get an instrument which is not cheap, which is quite pricey. I think it starts uh, around 3200 3, or 400 dollars and you can raise it easily. You can have a relic or whatever. That's the great thing about car guitars. If you have a wish, it will come true. Doc will make it happen. Uh, if you want a pink unicorn galloping over the fretboard, just ask him. He will make it happen. Yeah. So, out of 10 points, I'll give this Benji 9 points. 
and blame Clusen for the missing 10th point. When it comes to the DoD Carcosa, I'll give it out of 10, 10 because I like it. Uh, of course, there are other fusses, there may be better fusses, but uh, when it comes to fuss, I think it's a very personal thing. Uh, yeah, fuss is personal. And you. When you love it, you love it. If you don't like it, it's rubbish. So uh, I think it's a very good fuss. And for $99, it's just. Uh, it's a very okay price. So yeah, that's it for a moment. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Down below, my word of the day, my sentence of the day. Anyway, um, you will find also down below the all the links to the products. And um, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, push the the bell down there to be alarmed when I post a new video. And if you really like to, you can. You can support me on Patreon. You will find the link also down below. So I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon. No dog, no barking. Bye.